Hi, it's Chester Tuttle at Blue Pecan Computer Training, and in this video, we're in Excel and we're going to create a cumulative frequency chart, or what can also be known as an OGI chart. So I've got my price brackets here for the goods that I'm selling, and I've got the number of items within each price bracket. So this is essentially the frequency. Now, relative frequency will be the individual amount divided by the sum of the amounts of this column. We would say number of items divided by the sum of the number of items. And I need to fix with F4 that sum range. Press enter, copy it down, double click on the little fill handle. Cumulative frequency. For that, what I'm doing is I'm summing up the number of items. The first sum will just include this 25. So I've created a range that just looks at one cell, B4 to B4. But because I want to copy this formula down, I'm going to fix that first range so it stays as it is. If I press Enter, and I say I copied it down to here, you'll now see that B4 has remained as B4, but the second part of the range has now changed to B5, so it adds up 25 and 56 which is what we want to happen to create the cumulative frequency. Now, cumulative relative frequency works in the same way. I'd say sum. Now, start with this. So C4 colon, it gives me another C4, and I fix that first reference. Close the bracket, press Enter, I copy it down. So I've got all my calculations. Now I'm going to create two OGI charts one for cumulative frequency and one for cumulative relative frequency. The first one, what I do is I'd select the, the buckets as such, then control, I'd select the data I want to plot against the Y axis, insert on my ribbon, and I'm going for a line graph with line markers, and there we have it. If I wanted to do the same for the cumulative relative frequency, I'd select again the buckets, hold down control, select the relevant column, I'd do the same thing, insert, choose my graph type, and let's put this over here. What I might do with this is define the top value as 100%, so if I double click on these axis labels, format axis, Task pane comes up on the right of your screen. All I need to do is just change that to one, click out of it, close it down. Okay, that's all I want to cover in this course. Thanks very much for listening. Hopefully it's been useful. See you next video.